Hey everybody, so <clears throat> I got my helicoil kit in and I kind of looked at it to make sure I knew what I was doing. Uh, this is my insert piece. I matched up the spring to make sure it fit the bolt. It does. I measured the length of the bolt that I needed. I drilled the hole out so that it's so that it could be tapped. And then I've used this tapping thing, uh, the little tool they give you. I taped tape on the line that I needed so that I could know how far I wanted to go. I've used some WD-40 to kind of loosen that up. I got tape over my thermostat. That way, any of these shavings don't get in there. And you can see as I'm pulling this out, can you see that? See the gunk that's coming out of there? The metal shavings? That's when I want to avoid getting on anything. But now, I've gone the length of this to get that hole. It looks nice and pretty. <clears throat> now, the directions, the directions are pretty simple. Uh, matches pretty much what I saw on the internet. You just drill it out, you tap it, you install your uh, little springy thing, the helicoil itself, back it out, and then you should be able to screw your bolt into it. So let me clean this up, get these shavings out of the hole, and go from there. All right, so I've got the helicoil installed. Look at there. Isn't that nice and pretty? Now I should be able to install my bolt. Let's do that. Hey everybody, so <clears throat> I've got the cinch down nice and tight. This right here I put some Teflon tape on, hand tightened it, and then turned it another half a turn. Hooked it up. I've got everything hooked up except for my fan shroud, which I don't want to put on just yet. I want to see if I have any leaks. Um, I've got my alternator put on. Everything's tightened up. Uh, my belt's on. Everything's tight there. I think I'm good to go. Uh, did my belt move? No, it's in a straight line. I think. <clears throat> no, it's not. Crap. Hang on. Alright, now my belts are in line. I don't know how I did that. I know how I did it. I I had the belt completely off this thing and then I went to put it back on and I had it on the wrong on the wrong groove down there. Anyway, uh, moment of truth. I guess I'm going to crank this up and see what, if anything, leaks. Uh, I wonder if I should put some paper towels in different places just to catch stuff if it does leak. Or just let it come out and see what happens. All right, I'm crossing my fingers. You guys do the same thing. I'm hoping this does it. Let's give it a shot.